So I just sold my car to be able to buy more stocks in Tattoo Chef and Beyond Meat. This means that from now on, I'm going to have to bike about 50 miles to and from work. But that is how committed I am when it comes to investing in the stocks I believe in. Sure, I'm going to have to bike a lot, but still, I'll lose a lot of pounds on the way. Now, some of you might ask the question, is this really true? Well, I have an answer for you. Now, obviously, I wanted to create a dramatic effect to grab your attention. And, you know, investing should also be fun. And yes, I did actually sell off my car. And yes, I did use that money to invest in Tattoo Chef and Beyond Meat. I did, however, start leasing a car instead. So I kind of dabbled with the truth. But it does show commitment to these stocks that I truly believe in, but also to the path of financial freedom, which is something that's important to me and my family. So that is what we're going to talk about here on the Plant Stock channel. Why I chose this path and why specifically Tattoo Chef and Beyond Meat. And if this is your first time on this channel, welcome. My name is Jesse. And on this channel, we focus on plant-based companies and stocks like Tattoo Chef, Beyond Meat, The Very Good Food Company, and others. So if you want to be part of it, make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button. And if you want to help me out, please make sure to smash that like button since it does help spread the message of the channel. I truly appreciate your help. Now, some of you might think that it's kind of crazy to sell your car and instead of paying off the loan, the car loan, you actually invest that money. And I would say to some extent, that's the conventional truth, right? That's the way most people feel. But I had a long discussion with my girlfriend. We looked at the numbers. We saw how much we can handle per month. And it made sense to me because it's all about what you expect back in returns, right? And we started counting, you know, when it comes to Tattoo Chef, when it comes to Beyond Meat, what kind of expectations do we have? Well, we see 5x to 10x in the next five to 10 years in both of those companies. So it made sense to us. Now, as I said, we leased a car instead. We leased a Kia e Nero, which is an environmentally friendly car. It's an electric car. And it made sense with the numbers, right? Because when we had the Ford Escape, or in, here in Sweden, we call it the Ford Kuga, when we had that, it uses obviously gasoline, but we noticed that the expenses per month would basically be the same as leasing a brand new car that uses electricity. So we just, it just made sense. And then instead of paying off the loan, yeah, we used that money to be able to actually get a bigger return with time. Now for me and my family, reaching financial freedom is something that is important to us within the next four to five years. And doing that, it doesn't only take commitment to the companies you believe in, like the Tattoo Chef and Beyond Meat or the Very Good Food Company. It takes sacrificing as well. Now, what does that mean? Well, I think most of us, we would really like to travel on occasion to different places in the world, right? Vacations. And we love doing that like most people. But considering that we want to keep investing as much of our money right now into the stocks we believe in, we won't be able to do both. Not at this moment. So that's why we'll be sacrificing a couple of vacations in the years to come. We'll try to do other things like go on trips, go into the forest with our family and friends, have picnics. There are other things you can do that doesn't cost that much money, right? Or any money at all. And then when you think about buying new things like buying a new TV. I personally, I love watching movies and series. I'm a Netflix aholic, uh, but that doesn't mean necessarily that I have to go out and buy a new TV every second or third year, right? I think our TV is about five years old now, maybe more actually, and it's worth working perfectly. So why should I go out buying something that would cost me maybe, I don't know, two, $3,000 when that money I could just invest and hoping for a better return. Because when you buy a new TV, basically you get nothing. You you get nothing if you don't sell it after a while, but then you it's just a loss, right? But investing in stocks that you truly believe in, well, there's a good chance if you understand the company that you'll get a pretty decent return. And then when it comes to clothes, well, guys, you've seen me a couple of times now. I know nothing about fashion. I mean, come on, let's be honest. And that's pr probably a good thing in my case, because that means that I'm not that interested in 
you know, buying high fashion, buying expensive clothes. I just buy clothes that, you know, it works for me. Something that, you know, everyone needs, but that are comfortable and I look reasonably okay. I don't need to go buying expensive clothes. And usually I have clothes that I could be using for years to come. But, and if I do need to buy something new, well, then I'll do that, but I'll think about the price. And the same thing when it comes to going out to eat. Well, like everyone else, we really love to go to restaurants, enjoying ourselves, treating ourselves, but we don't do it very often anymore because we're on this mission, right? So going out to eat maybe two or three times a year would be fine. What about you guys? How often do you go out to eat? Let me know down in the comments. And I mean, if we want to hook up with friends, we can go to their places. Been tough now the last year though, considering Rona Rona. But, and otherwise we could invite people here. We could go sit in our garden. We could have a barbecue. Everything is possible, right? It doesn't have to cost very much money. And that's how we see it. And it's the same thing with expensive presents, right? There's a lot of Christmases in our future. And there's a lot of people's birthday. I mean, if you know a lot of people like we do, you have family members, you have close friends. There's a lot of birthdays out there. Meaning, depending, normally, when I went to a birthday party, I would never come with anything less than $50, $60 in a present or sometimes $100, if not more. Because for me, it was like I would show a lot of respect if I put a lot of effort into the present and it would be expensive. Maybe it has something to do with my culture. But as I've grown older, I've just realized that most things that you buy to people and the same when I get things, it's like things you look them and look at them and you're like, oh, nice. I like it. And then after a few days, if even that, you forget about it. Why should you just spend money that way? So normally I tell people when I go to Christmas uh, dinners or you know celebrate Christmas with different people or birthdays, I'll, I'll be telling them, don't buy me anything. I won't buy you anything. Let's do something nice together. Like you could make food together or you can make them a nice cake, a uh, plant-based cake in my case, right? So, that's one way. And I know it does make me sound sh cheap now. I can I can hear myself speaking, but it's not about being cheap. It's about what's worth to me. You know, what is important in life? And for me, if me and my family can be financially free, that's something that means a lot to us. But first, it's a good idea to set up a number, in my opinion. You know, how much money could you live off? You know, for me, we just want to keep our house, having our garden, living close to the nature as we do now, and basically not having to work. Doing YouTube is something I would want to do in the future anyhow, uh, and it actually does take a lot of work, but still, it would be nice to just focus on that. But otherwise, what other kinds of avenues could we pursue in the future, right? What kind of hobbies? Where can we develop our personalities? Uh, I don't want to be limited to one workspace, right? So that's the way we look at it. We don't need to become rich, but we want to be wealthy uh, to live our lives the way we want to. And if that's the case, then you need to set up your life around you to reflect that, right? And that's one way of doing it, that we're always trying to talk about what we could do to try to minis minimize our expenses and you know, doing things that doesn't cost that much money. And in that way, we can keep reinvesting every month with a good sum of money. Folks, I'm really interested to hear, how do you feel about this? Why are you guys investing? Let me know down in the comments. Now to the next question in the end here then, why Tattoo Chef and Beyond Meat? Well, it's quite simple. Why did we invest the money there? Well, when it comes to both companies, they're really strong companies with immense potential. And we begin with Tattoo Chef. In my eyes, it's really undervalued. I mean, not from a value perspective, but from a disruptive growth company with a PS ratio for around nine to 10 times, which makes it, in my eyes, a steal right now. I mean, it's around $17, $18, and considering where they're going in the future, again, it's a steal. I mean, this is a company that's barely begun, their journey just started, and I wanna be part of it. And one of the biggest reasons, as, as I've actually talked about a lot of times, is the vertically integrated business, right? As we said, they innovate, they design, they plant it, they grow it, they manufacture it, the whole circle, right? The machine that makes the machine that Elon Musk talks about when it comes to Tesla. That's the moment where you can actually start 
controlling your whole system, cut down your prices, right? You cut your cost, which means that you could lower the prices of your products eventually, meaning that you'll reach that many more people. And that's the kind of company you want to be part of because they're going to make a lot of money eventually. So that's that's one of the bigger reasons here. And then when we talk about uh, the video that I came out with yesterday, if you haven't taken a look at it, take a look at it right now, which is about their two new facilities that they just bought in New Mexico, which is going to be part of this vertically integrated business. And this means that they're about to expand their portfolio, not only making frozen foods, but actually going into refrigerated food and snacks and then moving into different kind of culture food, hoping like we talked about yesterday, Latin American food, which is a huge market in my eyes, being 60 million people in the US that has Latin American heritage. And then we have 650 million Lat Latinos down in South America and Middle America, which is amazing in itself. So the potentials there are endless. And the whole business concept is something that I truly love. And I've talked about this before because they have these healthier for your food options that are convenient and focusing on the Gen Z and millennial populations. These are people who are gonna care more and more about what they put them themselves, care about sustainability, but might not have the time to actually put down the effort and start cooking those beans themselves, right? And making these giant stews that last them the whole week. If they can find these healthier options in the frozen section and in with time as snacks and refrigerated options, it's the perfect ticket in my eyes. So again, investing in them, for me, I do expect a return for at the very least a 5X within the next five years, but a 5X to 10X within five to 10 years. That is one of the main reasons that I felt like, whoa, I won't be able to pay off the loan right now, but I'll get a huge return with that money instead. And it makes sense to me and my family. And then we have, of course, Beyond Meat. For me, it is as simple as it is the industry leader right now. I do believe they'll be the industry leader for the foreseeable future. They have first mover advantage. No one is really catching up at the moment. I can see it. And it reminds me of the Tesla saga. As we've talked about, many times on this channel. I mean, it's a company that is kept being down, being pushed down by by different shorters out there, same as Tattoo Chef right now. And it has about a 30% short, which is pretty high. And every time it comes out, great news, and I've had a lot of great news as of late. I mean, all the deals, and now talking about making Beyond Chicken before summer, I mean, Everything is there. The whole concept's perfect. They're going to take over different businesses more and more, go moving in also to different food categories with a branded name that is known globally. So that is why I'm really stoked about them as well. And I know people talk about that other plant-based companies will catch up sooner or later. Animal agriculture is going to use their enormous resources and then starts, you know, taking their business. But guys, that is the same story people said about Tesla. They said it constantly for years and years that when other EVs come making the same moves, they're going to come up there at the same level. They're so far from it right now. It's just ridiculous. And then they would say that traditional ICE cars, they're going to start, you know, Volkswagen, Mercedes, BMW, when they start making their versions, they're going to catch up and like blow away, blow past them. But that didn't happen, did it? Because they're just too far away now. They took too long before they started investing in this kind of technology. And it's the same thing with Tyson Foods and animal agriculture businesses out there. Because like we talked about just recently, Tyson Foods puts about 0.2% into R&D. And Beyond Meat puts about 8 to 10%. That's a huge difference. That's a huge difference in what kind of product they're creating here. So I'm not worried about this. And, and again, the McDonald's deals, the Yum Brands deals, the PepsiCo deals, that's on a global scale. And they haven't even started them. That's going to be in the end of the year, guys, where you'll see that revenue just, you know, coming in. And the same with the restaurants, right? It's 
about 50 50 where they get their revenue from and the restaurants have been closed for about a year off and on now during rona rona now they're going to start opening up especially when vaccines are being taken by a, by a lot more populations out there which means that their revenue from the restaurants business is going to fly up as well so i'm not worried at all so that's basically it that's the reasons why we believe in these two companies so much and it's worth it to actually pay a little more in interest every month for our ongoing car loan which we don't have anymore we're leasing a car instead but it feels worth it to us that's how committed we are when it comes to these two companies now before my very subscribers start wondering what the heck you've been talking all this stuff about the very good food company what a wonderful company that is why aren't you investing in them well one of the reasons to begin with is because they had such a large position in our portfolio that we needed to balance it out a little and i was feeling more and more that tattoo chef and beyond meats are great companies as well so i need to balance it out more right but uh, don't fret don't worry because we're actually making a decision or made a decision so we'll be able to actually invest a lot more in very in the coming days or weeks but i'll talk more about that in another video so stay tuned well folks that was it for today i truly hope you got some value from today's video and if you did make sure to smash that like button and if you want to keep getting more information regarding tattoo chef beyond meat and the very good food company and other plant-based companies out there make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button and as always i do believe you know that this was not financial advice these were just my own thoughts and opinions make sure to always do your own due diligence and invest safe hope to see you soon have a great wednesday peace out